a very pleasant morning children so today we are going to continue our exercise 6.3 as you can see we are there at fourth roman second one that means finding the square root of the given numbers by prime factorization method okay so the given number is 400 first we will check for the least prime number that is going to divide 400 first as you can see we can divide 400 in two table okay the only even prime number so 2 times 200 gives us 400 now we have 200 here and the same can be divided using 2 2 times 100 gives us 2 times 100 gives us 200 next 2 times 50 gives us 100 2 times 50 gives us 100 and then 2 times 25 gives us 50 now after 3 after 2 we have 3 as the next prime number yet we cannot cancel 25 using two ta 3 table hence we will switch to the next prime number which is 5 yes we can cancel 25 at 5 for 5 times so 5 5s gives us 25 now check the board carefully so 400 we can write as product of these factors that is 2 times 2 multiplied by 2 times 2 multiplied by 5 times 5. Here we can see these two forms a pair from this we have to take 1 2 and here from this pair we have to take 1 2 and from the pair of 5 and 5 we are going to take 1 5. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, therefore the square root of 400 equals 20. Please be careful children, you should not put 20 square. If you put power 2 for 20, your answer is going to be wrong. So square root of 400 is just 20. Okay, that's all. Now let us take the third question children. Okay, the third one is 1764. 1, Just like the previous one, we'll check for the prime number that is going to divide each number. As we have 4 as the unit digit, we can directly do the factorization by 2. Okay, 2 times 8, 16, and 1 will be given to 6. 8, 882 882 again we have 2 and even number here so 2 times 441 gives us 882 882 now as we can't cancel this in one table I mean two table we will check for the next prime number 3 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 4, 147 times. 3, 147 times gives 441. Again, we'll take 3. Okay. 3 times 4 is 12. And 9 gives us 27. As you know, 7 times 7 gives us 49. 7 times 7 gives us 49. So, we are done with this. If you want, you can do the process by writing 7 times 1 as 7. Okay? Either way, both the answer will be same. So, 1764 can be factorized as 2 times 2 multiplied by 3 times 3 multiplied by 7 times 7. 7 times 7. Just like here. From this pair, we are going to take 1, 2. And from this pair, we are going to take 1, 3. And from this pair, we are going to take 1, 7. So, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 7 is 42. Therefore, square root of 1764 1, equals 42. Equals 42. Okay. 
so now i'm just going to do the next one children that is the fourth one try to copy the cw carefully now the fourth one <coughs> it is 4096 4096 it is going to be very lengthy children so check the board carefully so 4096 as usual we'll start with two table because we have six at the units place so two times 2048 gives us 4096 and here two times 1024 gives us 2048 and two times 512 gives us 1024 and two times 256 gives us 512 and again two times 128 gives us 256 and then two times 64 gives us 128 and two times 32 gives us 64 and two times 16 gives us 32 and two times 8 gives us 16 okay and then 2 times 4 gives us 8 and 2 times 2 gives us 4 and lastly 2 times 1 gives us 2. So hope you followed as we all have even numbers the complexity of the question has been raised. Anyway so 4096 we can write as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Total 12 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, just for the convenience I'm writing. 9, 10, 11, 12. So from this each pair we are going to take one factor so from this pair we are going to take two and from this two and from this two and from this two and from this one more two and from this two. So two times four, two times two is four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. Therefore square root of 4096 equals 64 4096 equals 64 now i'm just going to do that fifth one fifth one children so it is 7744 7744 so let us see 7744 as we have 4 at the units place definitely it is going to be get cancelled by 2 table so 2 3 8 ok 7 2 ok 3872 now again with 2 table because we have units place is it as 2 2 times 1 9 3 6 one nine three six again with two table two nine times eighteen okay six eight times now again with two table two fours are eight two eight sixteen fours and two times two forty two and lastly two times one twenty one here if you observe children, we have the units place digit 1. So ultimately it is not going to be get cancelled in 2 table. So if you take 3 table, then also 121 is not going to be cancelled in 3 table. Then we have to check for the prime numbers which the square of it is going to be 121. I am going to take 11 square because 121 is definitely greater than 100. 
100 means 10 square. So I will check above 10 which is 11. And the units place digit is 1 here. So it is going to be 11 times 11. 11 times 11. We have to check like that. Otherwise you should be confident at least for 20 square numbers. And 11 times 1 finally. So now how we can write this 7744 as prime factors 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 11 and 11. Okay, just like uh, we are doing. From this pair we are going to take 1, 2. And from this pair we are going to take 1, 2. And from this pair we are going to take 2. And from this 11. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 11 is 88. Therefore, square root of 7744 equals 88. 88. So, I would like to stop here children. And the rest of the questions are going to be the homework. I mean from 6 to 10. Okay. So do that 4th Roman 6 to 10 as homework. We will meet you in the next class. Have a great day ahead.